Welcome back. When you meet somebody new, it is natural to wonder about their personality. Mental toughness expert Eric Rittmeyer, who's got a great personality, joins me now with a simple test to quickly learn about somebody's character. Good morning to you, Eric. Scott, it's great to see you again, buddy. How are you? I'm doing well. All right. Good. I was a waiter at one time, and you have something called what is the waiter test, and what does it show about people? What does it show about people? Yeah, I've learned this over the years, Scott. You know, it's funny. If you're out with somebody, if you're sitting down eating dinner with somebody, the way they act towards a waiter tells you a lot about who they are. If we're engulfed in a conversation, you're into me, you're listening to me, you're talking to me, the way you treat somebody that's waiting on you is going to tell me a lot about your character. Are you kind to them? Are you polite to them? Do you snap at them? It's really a way to truly get a feel for who somebody is based on just based on how they treat that waiter. What if the waiter's really annoying and they end every sentence with like, I don't know, what I don't know, is that too specific? That's a different Eric? story. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some MMA with your MMA? Do you want some MMA with your MMA? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know, it, it doesn't blow that. You know, it's just, it's a matter of just, just learning how, because this is ultimately a person who can really provide no benefit to you aside from waiting on you, serving you. So the way you treat that person, knowing that you're not really getting anything in return other than what you order, says a lot about who you are. There you go. And you say there are two types of conversations we have with other people. What are, what are they and what do they show about people? Yeah, they're unilateral and they're bilateral conversations. So a unilateral conversation would be a one way. This person can provide no additional benefit to you. This is somebody you bump into at the grocery store, somebody you say hi to in line. A bilateral conversation, we treat people differently if we know that we're going to see them again or if we want something or need something from them in the future. So again, you can tell a lot based on somebody how they treat other people, whether or not they need something from them. And it sounds bad to say, but a lot of people do this. They treat people a certain way based on whether or not they're going to need something from them. All right, let's go ahead and talk about animals and how somebody's feelings towards animals can possibly tell more about who they are. Yeah, the animal test is another one, Scott. You know, animals are pretty defenseless. You know, they can't really, there's not really a whole lot they can do. The way a person treats, it doesn't matter if it's their animal or another animal. Hopefully, if it's their animal, they're very nice to them. But you can tell a lot by that because, again, this is something that can't, they can't really defend themselves. It's the same thing with some people we meet. They're defenseless. They're in a bad position. They're just down in the dumps, whatever. The way you treat a person when they can't really come back at you or defend you says a ton about you. And with animals, especially dogs, they have that sixth sense. If you want to get a true for somebody bring them around your dog they'll tell you in 30 seconds if they're a good person or not that is true they're, they're very wise all right eric i know you have other topics and conversations and more on this is there a website where people can go just for a kind of one-stop shop absolutely thank you scott yeah my website's mental toughness speaker.com i actually have a free ebook on there it's called maximize your emotional intelligence so they can go there and download that copy i appreciate it not a problem i can just say too from having talked to you during other times and in commercial breaks i think it's very important to be the same person you are on air as you are behind the scenes and that seems to be you in that case it's a positive with me it's annoying both on air and <laughs> off air <laughs> we use the on-air, off-air analogy. It's the same thing when you're with people that you want something from, and when you're with people you don't need anything from. You treat them the same exact way no matter what. That's a true a true innate character trait that you and I both have. You're not annoying at all except for the MMME and MMNA. That's it. There you go. All right, Eric Rittmeyer, <laughs> thanks for being here this morning. As always, we appreciate it.